Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. I want to do a follow-up for a video I just posted about the cluster not available after uh, upgrading to Final Cut Pro 10, 10.0.6, and compressor version 4.0.5. Now these were updates that were released uh, to the compressor and Final Cut Pro product family uh, during October of 2012. So what we're looking at here is a video actually that I've not yet uploaded and I've already found the fix but we're gonna use this as a test uh, so what we're gonna do one would think that you would do file and then uh, send a compressor however if you go that route with a new Final Cut Pro 10.0.6 it'll send it to compressor but your only selectable option when you do submit to send it to your cluster your cluster of your Mac computers it, the cluster doesn't appear so the workaround, and, and hopefully Apple will better fix this uh, going forward, but the workaround is to click this little icon here uh, within Final Cut Pro 10. looks like a, uh, it says show share destinations. looks like a little box with an arrow coming out of it. So click that. Uh, what you'll do now is do add destination. When you're in add destination, you will select compressor settings, this icon right here. Once you select compressor settings, you'll then pick whichever video format you normally use. Now for me, I personally use video sharing services 1080p uh, for all of my projects. So I'll select that and hit OK. Now what you'll see here within your destinations is a, uh, a project that says HD 1080p. So we've done what we need to do at this point. So now simply exit out of that out of that uh, destinations box this is the project that I wish to export so what I'll do is this is a slightly different procedure so I'll do uh, file I will not do send a compressor I will select share and then I'll select that pro that uh, that option that, was, that I just created so you see here I did HD 1080p uh, depending upon your video preferences uh, that will likely appear differently but it's HD 1080p for me so I'm going to select that and then this will just recap uh, uh, what I've selected here this is cluster not this is the name of the video by the way I was creating a video complaining about this uh, uh, problem after updating my uh, my Final Cut Pro and compressor version so this, you might want to look through this. This is a 534 megabyte approximately uh, video project, 19, uh, 1920 by 1080. And then you go over to settings. Uh, let's see. And that's that's what I wanted. It's already at HD 1080p, so that, that doesn't need to be changed. That, of course, was a setting that, that we did with that little funny arrow thing. So hit next. Uh, pick your destination. I'm just going to send it to my desktop which is fine. Now you'll see the uh, the status here, the percentage complete. So what you're going to want to do, and I'm not going to sit through the whole video, wait for that export to complete, and then we'll proceed to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this video forward and we're going to go into the compressor piece where we select our cluster and actually render it render it using the cluster. Okay, so I'm back now. I uh, waited for the Final Cut Pro uh, export using the procedure that I just illustrated to complete. Uh, as you can see, I now have that file on my desktop. So what you need to do next, and you could export it wherever, I just put it on my desktop. You're going to take that file, drag it into Compressor. Okay, once you've dragged it in there, the next step is to select your uh, your video settings. Now again, I'm going to use the HD 1080p. So I'm going to drag that there. And then I'm just, the, the, des the export destination, I'll use desktop. Now, this is where it's different. So when we hit Submit, since we followed this procedure, we should see a cluster as a selectable option. So hit submit, and you do. 
the name of my cluster is Working Cluster because I remained optimistic that it would finally work. So I select Working Cluster and then I'm going to name this project, uh, we'll just call it, and I'll rename it after I put it to uh, YouTube, but I'll just say Latest Final Cut Pro and Latest Compressor uh, Cluster Fix. So I've selected Cluster here, Working Cluster, Priority High. I'm going to hit Submit. We do see this down here now. Now we can view the status in a couple of different ways. I can do this share monitor here. And that's launching. Uh, it says no clusters found. Okay. It does have a working cluster. So there we go. So, so far it's still kind of cranking up. I know it's not the correct verbiage, but... Uh, also, to view a, view a status of what's going on, we can go back into Compressor, go to the Apple QMaster, go to Administer Clusters. And then and in here, within here, we see the two, uh, the two Macs that I'm using currently. I'm going to add some more. Uh, but the two Macs that I'm using for my clustering. So I can expand uh, the MacBook Air. Uh, it's an i5, so I can see all of the usable cores in it. So it's got compressor running and rendering running. And then on my iMac, it's got eight usable cores. A compressor and uh, rendering running as well. So we can get a feel for what's going on here. Now, obviously the way I've got it set up, it, it is transfer transferring some data across the network between the two computers. So that's that's likely what's creating this uh, this brief delay here with things starting to really kick off. So I'm going to pause this presentation and I'm going to come right back as soon as we start seeing some activity here. Okay, so I wanted to kick back on and kind of explain what's going on. I went over, as you can see, uh, indicated right here, this storage, this NFS path. Uh, actually what it's doing is copying this uh, this file which is a little bit over 500 megabytes copying it over to uh, to my MacBook Air and I, I failed to connect the gigabit LAN uh, so it's going over uh, wireless and that's what's created this brief delay but right now it's almost to the maximum there I'm watching it on my MacBook Air which is over there I'm watching the file size of that uh, of that file being copied into place into that NFS location. So uh, we should be about to start seeing some progress here. And I, and I like to check all of these at, at once. So we've got share monitor for my cluster, which is working cluster. And then likewise, we've got Apple Q administrator open so we can see the, uh, the two Mac devices that I have on my network, my MacBook Air and the uh, iMac. And and the way I've got it set up, and I maybe I should have done it the other way around, but I've got my my MacBook Air as the uh, services and the controller, and my iMac I've got as services only. So we ought to start seeing. Okay, now now we're going to start seeing activity here. Boom! So you can see in Share Monitor, all of this popped up. Uh, these are the, I guess I would say these are, and, and my verbiage may not be exactly correct, but what I'm concerned with is that you can see a task here that's running on iMac, which is my iMac. You can see a task here, which is running on MacBook Air, which of course is my MacBook Air. Uh, so with those being the two physical machines that are part of my cluster, uh, this is a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a visual confirmation that my uh, that my cluster is indeed working